Hi guys, once you've been through the setup process of your Saturn 10 Pro, uh, entering in your Google account, connecting to your Wi-Fi and those sorts of things, you will arrive here at the, at the home page. I'm going to give you a brief uh, introduction for getting started with this operating system. Many of you may already know uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, uh, in which case a lot of this might be easy or obvious, but for those of you that are unfamiliar, then hopefully this will be useful. Um, it comes with a full suite of Google uh, apps pre-installed, so let me just quickly run you through those. Starting in the bottom left, we have uh, the Google Play Store, where you'll be able to go and get uh, additional apps that you may want to download. Then we have uh, Gmail for your email, Chrome for your web browsing, uh, we'll come back to this icon in a moment, YouTube for videos, photos, and um, your camera. Hangouts is um, kind of like Skype or Google's version of Skype, so this is for video conferencing and for instant messaging. And then as we come over to this one marked Play, you'll see if we click on it, there's actually a folder of apps here. So this is your entertainment apps, music, movies, games, books, and news. On the other side, if we click on this Create uh, folder, this is your productivity suite. So you have Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Google Drive for storing your documents, and Keep for uh, your notes. And this final one, Mark Google, has things like uh, Google Search, Maps, Google Plus, Calendar, and News and Weather. Okay, so um, just quickly on these on these folders, uh, you can rearrange these however you wish. So if you just uh, uh, you either well, there's two ways to do it with the Saturn 10. You can either do it with the touch screen, uh, or you can do it with a mouse. If you're doing it with a touch screen, you must just um, press and hold on the icon until uh, you will see that the search bar disappears. It gives you this little option at the top to remove, and now we can drag the icon where we want it to be. So if we wanted to put this icon here, we could drag it down, um, and you'll see it's come out of that folder. Similarly, we can put it back into the folder just by reversing that process. And then just drag it around and then drop it where you want it. You'll see that the first um, icon in a folder then becomes the icon for the folder. The bottom row of icons is known as the favorites bar. This, uh, These particular apps along the bottom here will always remain the same uh, irrespective of what page we happen to be on. So this is our main page of apps, and as we move to our secondary page of apps, uh, you'll see that all of the apps within the favorites bar remain the same. Um, we can also have folders of apps if we want to in the favorites bar. So if I just drag the camera icon onto the photos icon, I can create a folder which maybe I'll call um, photography. And now you'll see I've freed up a space here where I could put another app if I wanted to. Okay, if I select one of these Google pre-installed apps, let's take YouTube for example, and I drag it around, you'll see I'm prompted here to remove the app, um, which I can drop the icon on there and it will take it away from my home screen. But because it's a Google app, it won't be um, deleted from the operating system. It's part of the operating system. If I compare that to something like the Facebook app which I've downloaded from the Play Store. As I drag this one around you'll see I have the remove option but I also over here have an uninstall option. So if I want to delete an app entirely that I've, uh, that I've downloaded from the Play Store I would just drag the icon onto this uninstall option over here. Okay, looking at this icon here in the middle this is our all apps button so if I tap here uh, you'll see that all of the apps that are installed on the operating system are now displayed in this folder. Uh, the top row indicates the apps that we've interacted with most recently, and then the remainder of the apps are all uh, categorized alphabetically. You won't see this app at the bottom. This is an app that I'm using to do this screen recording, um, so that won't sh appear on, on your device, but the rest will all be uh, as you see here. There may be a time when you want to search for an app, for a specific app, in which case you can just type in here the search term you're looking for and then launch the app from there. Um, there is also uh, this option here where we can have 
the search term searched for within the Google Play Store. So if we wanted to download YouTube for kids, we can quickly navigate to that and click the install button from here. Okay, let's just go back and back again. The final thing I just wanted to show you with regards to the all app folder is the user manual. So in actual fact, it was here at the top under recently accessed. So this will launch a PDF version uh, of the user manual for the Saturn 10 Pro. And you can see that we're halfway through the document because I was looking at it earlier. Um, there's lots of useful information in here, so I'd strongly recommend for you to have a look at the user manual. Okay, now we're going to have a quick look at these icons that you'll see at the bottom of the screen. The first one is the back button. So if we if we click that, it will just simply take us back. Um, the next one along is the home button. So if we click that, it will take us back to the home screen. The square icon is the recently used apps. So now you'll see we have uh, a card selection of the different apps that we've used recently and we have um, the option here to dismiss apps just by swiping either to the left or to the right on the screen and in addition to that if we're using the mouse on the keyboard we can just put our cursor onto the little X and click there and then that will also uh, remove these these cards. Then the final two icons we have volume down and volume up which is fairly self-explanatory just one point on the volume, if you click on this little icon here, we now have the option to adjust the volume independently for the different uh, types of sounds that the device will, will, will give you. So the top one is for your notifications, the middle one is the volume for your media, such as music and movies, and then the final one is for your alarms. The other thing that's worth mentioning uh, with regards to the volume is don't forget that on the Saturn 10 Pro you have the physical uh, volume keys both on the keyboard itself and on the back of the tablet. Right, let's just click the home button here to go back home. Okay, so now we're going to look at the search facility on the Saturn 10 Pro. We can search for anything we want just by clicking into the top bar and then typing out our search. Alternatively, let's just go home. Alternatively, one of the really nice features is just using this voice search. So we can click here to activate that, or we can simply say, OK, Google, what's the time in Hong Kong? The time in Hong Kong is 3.23 p.m. So that's nice and quick and easy. And in addition to that, we can also say things like, OK, Google, Open the News 24 website. Opening web page. And you can see it's nice and responsive and just a, a really nice feature. OK, let's go home again. Um, if we swipe down from the top of the screen using our finger, this uh, notification window pops up. You can ignore these two uh, messages regarding USB. That's just because I happen to have my device connected to my computer in order to do this recording. But if we click on to the gray box, you'll see it gives us nice, quick and easy access to adjust some settings that we might want to from time to time. So using this slider, we can adjust the brightness of the screen. We can access our uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. We can turn off notifications by activating Do Not Disturb. If we're on a plane, we can activate aeroplane mode. We can also lock the rotation of the screen to either landscape or portrait. We can turn GPS on and off. We can wirelessly cast the screen to uh, compatible devices using this button. And also we can uh, quickly silence uh, the, uh, the whole device if we want to. In addition to that, you can see the date and time and also um, the battery indicator we can if we click on this icon it will take us directly to all of the settings if we just go back um, we also the last the last one I just want to show you there is if we click on the um, the little person icon 
we have the option to adjust users. So we can have a guest user who won't who will just have access to um, the pre-installed apps, or we can add a specific user if you've got multiple people using the same device. They can have their own profile with their own apps and their own settings and everything. And to dismiss this, you can either just swipe up on the screen or just you know click off the off this screen and it'll it'll dismiss. Okay, the final thing I want to just show you is how to customize your home screen, specifically the sort of the look and the feel. For this, I'm going to just use the touch screen. So if I hold my finger down on the touch screen, you'll see that the the apps uh, pan back, and now I have these options: wallpaper, widgets, and settings. If I choose wallpaper. I can select different images at the bottom of the screen here which will change my background image. On the far left I have the option to select a photograph that might be installed on my device which I could use as a background and then on the on on the right the ones with the with the labels let me just select uh, this one black hole is a dynamic uh, screen saver essentially so this if I just select in fact let me just go back and choose bubbles and then I'll say set wallpaper and now you'll see actually if I touch the screen oops I've just selected the clock if I touch the screen the bubbles actually move around so there's a bit of uh, sort of interactivity now um, with the background let me just activate this again the other option is widgets so there's lots of different options here um, but and I'm not going to get into each of these, but let's just take, for example, Google News. I can drag that onto the screen. And now uh, on my home page, I have uh, sort of summary headlines of what's happening in the news, which I can scroll through. And then that will also give me uh, quick access to uh, launch the news app if I wish. And then if I want to remove that, I can just drag it in up to the remove like that. And then if I just activate this one more time, the final one here is settings. Um, and I'm not going to get into each of these, but this is essentially um, specific settings related to search and how it searches and the language and the region and what voice it uses, etc. So you are welcome to dig into those. Okay, before I conclude this video, one thing I just wanted to mention, which I think is a unique feature to the Saturn 10 Pro and a really nice feature, is the hotkeys that you'll find on the keyboard itself. So to just demonstrate this, if I open up the All Apps and I navigate to the User Manual, without having to touch the screen, I'm just getting a notification here to save this file, which I'm not going to do, um, without having to touch the screen, um, if I am perhaps just scrolling up and down uh, this document and I decide I want to go back I can just press the back button in the top left hand corner of the keyboard and it takes me back to the all apps and if I press that again it even takes me back to the home page so having a, a dedicated back button on the keyboard is very useful next to that you'll find the home button so let's say for example I'm busy in uh, my web browser and I want to quickly navigate back to something I can just press the home button there's also a, a, a dedicated search button, so I can select that and it will activate search for me. Let me just press home again. Um, another really nice feature is, of course, having the, the dedicated browser button. So I can select that and it'll just quickly um, open up a browser and then I can go ahead and open a new tab and search for something. I have email, again on a hotkey. In this case, email has not been set up, so it's just asking me to choose which email app I want to use, which I'm not going to do now. Um, there is also uh, this button here, which enables us to uh, adjust the, the, the background and the widgets and so on quickly. One button that you might find you use quite regularly is quick access to the settings, which is just above the number 5 key. So I can press that and it will launch the settings for me, so I can quickly adjust settings on the device as I, as I may need to. I have uh, dedicated um, brightness buttons, again, also very useful, uh, depending on the lighting condition in which we're using the device. The camera button, which is just slightly above the, uh, the number 8 key, is actually a screenshot button. 
So don't not to be confused with uh, actually activating the camera. If I do that, it will take a screenshot and save it off to my uh, photos. Then uh, the next three hotkeys along are back, uh, play, pause, and forward. So that would be if you were listening to music or watching a movie, those keys would be valuable. And then we have volume control, so we can mute the device, we can decrease the volume or increase the volume. And the final one is to put the device to sleep. And now seems an appropriate time to do that. So thanks for watching.